recording has taken way longer than normal because it's just so pretty outside right now. All of the morning sounds plus the fog in like a really green lush backyard is making me so happy. So what I discovered at the beginning of this week is that I now have a very limited number of clothing options. <laughs> In fact, on Monday, I wore one of my husband's t-shirts to work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what can we do to make her feel better? A bottle. We gotta go find that bottle. So this morning, Nana is actually picking Hadley up here. Normally, Dad or I would take her to Nana's house. But we're just waiting and hanging out until she gets here. Are you saying hi to everyone? Hi. <laughs> so one of the really funny things about <laughs> pulling out of my driveway is that my cat literally lives in my driveway and is deaf. So sometimes he doesn't know your car is moving towards him makes things adventurous. Today is one of the days that Eric pits, picks Hadley up from um, Nana's and that means that I get the ability to stay a little bit later at work, which makes it, me feel a little bit better when I'm late, like today, <laughs> I'm sure it's because of filming, that I am like an extra 15 minutes behind. So this past weekend was actually a really hard weekend for symptoms. Um, I had three days in a row of like, just being really sick all day and I was fatigued and um, just like absolutely drained. So I just went from like three days over the weekend, really hard, and then Monday and Tuesday were both really, really great days. I had like kicks of energy and like just felt good, like my body felt great. <laughs> um, it's been a little bit of a wild ride. There have been a couple of things that have happened to me that people said were like sure signs that labor was impending, but I'm here to tell you that I am still here without going, like not in labor. Um, so the first one was baby dropping. Um, when I talked to my doctor about it, she said, yes, like baby had dropped and lowered, but she hadn't gotten fully engaged in my pelvis. So apparently that's hard to know the difference between. Um, and so don't always assume that just because whew, baby's like dropped and you have all this air, like room to breathe and you can eat and everything, that that means the baby officially dropped and is on its way. That's what she said. And again, like I said, that happened to me several weeks ago and here I still am, pregnant as ever. Uh, and then the other thing is, um, love this information, I'm sure, is like really bad, like bowel movements and diarrhea. I mean, this weekend was, really tough for me. Three straight days of just pain, discomfort. I was going to the bathroom constantly. I was up multiple times overnight. And again, it was one of those things that it was like, oh, maybe this is a sign. But turns out it just happens a lot at the end of your pregnancy. So those are some fun symptoms. <laughs> uh, but ultimately still pregnant and waiting for baby.
Okay, now that I am halfway through my morning, I wanted to give you a tour of my office here and what's going on with that. We just moved in right after the stay-at-home order and I have a lovely budget to be able to do stuff with it, but I just have not spent the time on it prior to going on maternity leave. So I'm kind of excited to come back from maternity leave and be able to like set it all up and do stuff with it. But um, anyway, so a couple of things too that are relevant to pregnancy. One is this, is makes my desk stand up. And that's really helpful, <laughs> like really helpful because uh, it allows me to do like squats, which got me through my pregnancy with Hadley and also just keeps me moving because when I sit on my normal chair, I'll just tell you, after hours of that in a work day, I'm like walking around like a duck afterwards. It just like settles her in like down there and I'm like really uncomfortable with it. And I'll be like walking like a duck for two hours after work if I do that every day. The other cool thing that I have is this guy. So I have uh, sat on him and bounced on him like a ton also really brings him down I mean brings her down but um, when I don't have it in the desk position I'm just like in a regular position then the fitness ball is fantastic absolutely fantastic yeah this really fancy filing system that I had to buy. It's huge. I'm gonna put it on the wall. And I had to get it because while I'm on maternity leave, I can't imagine the amount of paperwork that's about to come my way. And this will just help everyone to stay nice and organized for me. So it's not overwhelming or as overwhelming when I come back. It's about 3.30 and I'm gonna be leaving here in an hour to go to my next OBGYN appointment. So that's kind of exciting, but I just wanted to like share what maternity leave is gonna look like for me. Our company has less than 50 employees, so they're not um, required to give leave, but they do still have a maternity leave package. So I'm getting like a portion of my pay for a certain number of weeks. Um, and so that's really, really helpful. Plus I have some vacation time that I've built up, but um, my plan is to just keep going at it and keep working until baby comes. So the good thing about that is that I get to use as much time as possible with baby when she comes. The challenge from a work standpoint is that like at any point we feel like I just might not show up the next day. <laughs> um, so that's very awkward for my job, I think. I will be out for six whole weeks and then coming back at a room, like for another six weeks in like a remote capacity and only part-time. But speaking of when I come back to work, so I mentioned earlier that I've been given a budget for my office to like, for furniture, decor, really whatever. And it's a nice size budget, thank you. But I've used none of it. Like I've only been focused on getting through to this maternity leave and I haven't spent any money. And I'm excited for when I come back because I've got plans and one of them is right here in this corner. Um, so the door's over there. And then I've got this corner and it's right next to these windows. And my hope is to buy a nice comfortable accent chair and a little accent table to go next to it. And I'll be able to use it for pumping when I come back. 
because in the building we were in before, I had to go to the family bathroom and I sat on a floor and pumped like three times a day. <laughs> and it was definitely awkward, uncomfortable, and it made me want to move away from that a lot faster. But now I could actually like even keep working and going at it um, and be in like a comfortable, happy space in my office. So I'm, I feel so blessed to have the potential to do that. Um, but yeah, that's what that's gonna look like. That's me, done for the day. I'm off to the doctor's office where hopefully they will tell me that everything is going wonderful. Gotta mask it up, mask it up. Okay, doing this thing. God, I gotta turn the camera off. <sighs> so, here is what we discovered today. Leah gained six pounds. Six pounds, people! <laughs> In the course of one week. Okay, and then the other thing that we discussed was what it looks like at the hospital. So for me and my situation, and maybe this will be helpful for anyone else preparing, or just to compare notes, because I know it's different all over the country. We, I'm allowed to have Eric, my husband, with me the entire time. When we first get there, we're gonna be tested for COVID. Um, and then, um, so my husband's with me the entire time. And then I'm allowed to have a doula uh, as well. And then once baby's born, my husband can remain with me the entire time. And like the goat, to, go, going to and from and whatever else doesn't actually seem to be a thing. Like they're not worried about that. He can leave if he wants to and comes back. And then I'm allowed to have one visitor at a time besides him. So I feel like really relieved <laughs> because that seems like a very reasonable situation and honestly just in line with what I probably would want. We would maybe have more visitors if we were there for more than a day, but um, just being able to have like one visitor seems awesome. Uh, additionally, they said that I obviously will wear a mask like going in and then when like there's other providers in the room, but I don't have to wear a mask while I'm pushing. So I don't know if I will. It kind of depends. Like if people are really close by besides my husband, I don't know. I might kind of want to wear a mask for them, but we will have to wait and see on that one. So that's the information that I've gathered. I'm still going to call the hospital and get a little bit more of a rundown on like what they're saying about um, delivery there. But yeah, that was my doctor's appointment. Six pounds, people, six pounds. <laughs> and I am home and this is it, the end of the road. I hope you enjoyed watching. This was actually my first video that I did where I did all of the filming exclusively. <laughs> Normally my videographer husband will help me out with that. So hopefully it turns out as we put it together. Uh, and yes, please be sure to subscribe. Just a couple weeks left here of pregnancy videos. And then we'll get to share a little bit about what the infancy stage is like with baby Anastasia. Can't wait for that. And be sure to like as well and share with your friends. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Can't wait to give you an update at 39 weeks, too. I think I can hear them already. You just love letting them out, don't you? I do. <laughs> Hi, good looking. Hey, How you doing? All right, what are you doing? <laughs> Where's our baby girl? She's napping. She's napping? Yeah. I don't get to see her right now. You gonna wake her up? Oh! <laughs> it's working. It is working now. She's laughing. <laughs>